so that's the VFD temporarily wired directly to the motor with no auxiliary switching. So I should be able to operate the motor direct from the buttons on the VFD. But we have this manual with about 20 pages of settings in it. Now oh, that's quite daunting. But if you look, most of them have factory default settings, which seem to me to be applicable for the UK. So the only ones I think that I'm going to have to set are the motor related settings. So you turn the thing on and the first flashing light we have is 50. Uh, that is 50 hertz. So this device has been set to work from 0 hertz, uh, turning, the turning the potentiometer here up to a maximum of 50. So if we are in the most of the world, that is the correct setting. If we're uh, in Canada and America, I think you would need to bump that up to uh, 60 hertz. Or indeed, if you need the, to use it as a speed control and uh, you want the motor to run faster than its uh, design speed, then you turn the uh, frequency up even further. So this thing has all uh, factory default settings. So the only thing that we have to program uh, is the motor parameters. So to program it, the initial programming, we press the program button, it says P1. Then we press the enter what button and you can adjust whichever is flashing. Now the motor parameters are P100, which is factory set to a common synchronous motor. So we don't need to change that. Most motors will be that. Then we go to P101. Enter. Now it's flashing at point 0.8 because I have already set it to the uh, kilowatts of the motor. So you could run up or run down. And I've got uh, these figures from the nameplate on the motor. So then we press enter. Then it automatically goes to P102, which is the rated motor voltage. So we press enter. And I have already set it 235 volts because that is my incoming voltage. Of course, I could put it up or put it down. Press enter. It goes to 03, which is the rated motor current. That is the full load current. Press enter. 3.1 amps. Enter. 04. The rated motor frequency. 50 Hertz enter 05 Rot rated motor rotational speed this is a two pole motor so the rated speed which I've got off the motor plate is 2750 if it was a, a four pole motor it would be uh, 1450 uh, so some of these uh, devices ask for the number of poles and some ask for the rated speed. But the machine will know how many poles the motor has. P106 doesn't exist. The next one to set is 10. And that is the no load current. Now there is no, um, no load current uh, on the motor plate or on any that I have ever seen uh, that I've noticed that is so I have set this to a third of the full load current and then we're done so then we press program again program again which takes us back to the start now some of these devices have a uh, reverse button uh, to reverse the direction of rotation of the motor of course this one doesn't, but it has a multi-function button which can be set according to the parameters in the manual. So, to set the machine to run in reverse using the multi-function button, we need to program the multi-function button. So we press program. 
and we press enter which gives us the program numbers we go across change P0 into P7 P7 naught 1 is the one we want then we press enter we need to change the naught into a 2 enter program program so that is the thing set to run in reverse. To reverse it we use the multifunction key which brings on that light and when we start the machine it runs in the opposite direction. Yahoo! And it continues to be set in the reverse direction until you use the multifunction key again to unset it. Then we can just press the run button And the machine runs up to speed. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, and I could always use the odd subscriber, so think about pressing that button, please.